Hi folks, Wooden Boat Dan here. It is Sunday, October 29th, 2023, and I thought I would give you a update on my peeler skiff build. And uh, yeah, so last video I made, I had uh, flipped the boat upside down and was prepping the hull for paint which required a lot of sanding and filleting and filling and touching up. It was a very painful process. <laughs> Seriously, boat building can get really tedious, but painting is really fun because you really get to see stuff happen. So uh, you can see the skiff behind me here. So I'm gonna give you, this is somewhat of an unveiling. I'm gonna take, take the tape off and show you here, I've got a nice uh, boot stripe. And I've got a cove, I've got my cove here with some green paint and my white and blue. Uh, so, I'm gonna give you a little unveiling here. I used uh, Kirby Marine paint uh, out of Maine. And those guys have been around since the 1800s. I highly recommend the paint. It's the first time I've used it, but it, it went on really well. It covered well, uh, it rolled and tipped well. And I bought their semi-gloss paint, but their semi-gloss is actually more like a satin. So it doesn't have a lot of gloss to it. And I did that for two reasons. You know, the first reason is it's lower maintenance. Uh, it's easier to touch up. You don't see as many imperfections. And also, it gives boats a more vintage look. Uh, you know, 50, 75 years ago, boats were not painted real glossy, bright colors. Uh, they were, you know, satin and flat and all that kind of stuff. So, so yeah, highly recommend Kirby Paints. Uh, so, anyway, I'm going to start taking some plastic off here so you can see what I got. This is a uh, $1.25 drop cloth from the dollar store. I think they should call it the dollar and a quarter store, but they don't. So I'll take that off first. And then I'll take off the uh, this is a delicate surface paint from, uh, I think this is, I can't remember if this is a Scotch Brite or a 3M product, but it works real well. You can put it on paint that's only a couple days on, uh, fresh and uh, it won't mess it up when you take it off. So here's my bootstripe, which I haven't done a bootstripe on a boot before, so I'm pretty excited about that. I think it really uh, adds some flair to the boat. Gives some really good definition to the bottom paint. And uh, I'll show you the transom here in a minute. Now this is the side of the um, part I'm most excited about is uncovering this cove bead here. Uh, so what I did was, <laughs> I started by painting this first, this blue. So I had this all taped off and covered just like I did now and I put two coats on. Then I did my, uh, I, I marked the water line with a laser and at the end of this video I'm going to show you some more videos, some time lapse videos of my painting and uh, marking the water line. So I marked this water line with a laser with pencil and then I did my boot stripe and then I did the white. And when I did the white, I decided to do three coats because I had the paint and I thought, why not add a little more protection? Well, then I thought, you know, I only did two coats on the bottom. I really went three and now's the time to do it. So I taped off the boot stripe and put my third coat on the bottom. It was a little extra work, but I'm glad I did. So. Anyway, here's the uh, unveiling of my cove. My cove detail.
my dollar store wax paper. Okay, yeah, this is exciting because I think this little detail here is really going to look really classy on this boat. And this was very tedious to tape off, by the way, because I had to follow that cove. And uh, it was hard, it's hard to see the edge because it's kind of a subtle edge. Ooh, that's looking good so far. Look at that, baby. Yeah, baby. This is why you spend hours and hours on a boat, is because you build your own boat because it's so amazing when you get done. You can't buy anything like this. I mean, let's face it, folks. The white plastic boats, they just don't cut the mustard when it comes to this kind of stuff. Okay. Let's see if I can get... Now, Now this is when we're really going to see something. If I can get this tape off here. Bear with me, people. Uh, yeah, and bear in mind, this is a free video. <laughs> You don't have to pay to watch this. I don't think anybody would actually, but anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do a little touch up on that end. You can't see it from there. Actually, let me show you here. I got a little paint bleed on the end there. Uh, right here. So I'll fix that. No big deal. That's the other nice thing about building a wooden boat is you can fix stuff. Repair stuff. Ooh, 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 look at that, people. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Look there. Is that beautiful or what? Oh my goodness. This was my wife's idea. I was going to paint this thing black, that little striped black, and she said, you know, why don't you put blue like the bottom? And wow, does that ever pop. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Look at that boat. This is, this is going to be a gorgeous boat, if I do say so myself. So you're wondering about this. This is my mahogany gunnel. That'll be varnished. And I'm using a matte varnish, so it kind of matches the paint. And then uh, let me show you the transom here. So the transom, let me pull this tape off here. Uh, so this, this will be varnish. Right now that's just like 10, I, I might have 12 coats of epoxy on that sucker, but that's all going to be varnished. Um, so, so I did a little wrap around here on the edge with the white, and that comes up here to the bottom of the gunnel. But anyway, folks, I, I think this is looking pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy. I, I think the blue stripe is just the bomb on there. Wow, very cool. Very, very nice. Okay, well, I think that's it for now, but uh, don't turn this video off because I'm gonna put some time-lapse video on here, painting the bottom, putting the water line on, uh, and that sort of thing. And if you haven't listened to my podcast, go to Apple Podcasts and look for Hooked on Wooden Boats. And I've got I think I've got 60, maybe 50, I don't know, somewhere between 50 and 70 podcasts uploaded, really fun interviews with people and stuff. And uh, hey, you guys have a great day. God bless. Wooden Boat Dan over and out. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello again, folks. Hey, I just wanted to add to this video, uh, I didn't really talk about what's next in the build process. <clears throat> Uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to flip the boat this week, so I'm going to flip it uh, on Tuesday. And then uh, I'm going to build the center console for the boat. The interior of the boat's basically all built. All the seats are in and everything, and I've, I think I've shown pictures of that. So I've got to build the center console next. 
and I've got plans for that, and I've got plywood, and I'm going to cut my own parts and all that to save some money. And then once the center console is in, then I'll do the paint and varnish the interior of the boat and the gunnels. Actually, the only, uh, the varnish will be on the gunnels, the transom inside and out. And I think I'm going to also varnish the center console. So there's the update, fo folks. Uh, have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.